Hi, it's Mike with AskTractorMike.com. I'm at my barn today, and we're going to go in there and find my tractor and find the serial number on my tractor. Now, I know the serial number on my tractor, but I wanted to do a video today talking about tractor serial numbers. And if you're new to tractors, it's not a VIN number. The automotive guys call them VIN numbers, vehicle identification number. On a tractor, at least everybody I know calls them a serial number. So if you're shopping for a tractor and you're using the word VIN number, uh, they're going to know you're a novice. So around tractors, at least, it's uh, serial numbers. Well, we're going to find a serial number on my tractor. And I'm going to tell you 10 things you probably don't know about serial numbers. Uh, most of these apply to all tractors. A couple of them apply to just certain brands, little quirks in their system that may or may not make sense. And the last thing I'm going to tell you today is a great tip that I learned from one of my viewers. Uh, that will make uh, serial number retention easy. So right now, we're gonna go in and find the serial number on my tractor. And I'm gonna tell you some things you may or may not know about serial numbers. Let's go in. Well, first off today, there are a lot of numbers on a tractor. When I worked in the dealership world, we'd have people come in and ask us, how much is that 16 LA on your lot? Well, that's actually the model number of the front end loader. That's not the model number of the tractor. The model number of the tractor is right there. It's a TC40D and it's hidden by the whole front end loader. So the model number of the tractor will be on the tractor on the side. And the model number of the front end loader will be right here. But there's also a bunch of other numbers on a tractor. Uh, right under here, right there, is the engine number. And there's another number right there that I think is the injection pump number. And so you've got a lot of numbers. Neither one of those is the serial number of the tractor. Now I'll show you. The loader, front end loader, has a serial number, which is right there, and then this is a number that the uh, place I used to work at assigned this front end loader, and then the tractor will either even have another number that they assigned to it, and we'll find it here in just a second, but the serial number of the tractor on my tractor is under the front step, and I mean it's hidden. There's the other, other uh, dealership number that they assigned to it, which is rubbed out now, but the serial number is all the way down here, and you can See it right there under the front step. So point number one, there are lots of numbers on a tractor, but only one serial number. Now for point number two, which is how to find the serial number on your tractor, let's go inside to the computer. Okay, here at the computer, we're gonna find out how you find a serial number. And this is point number two. Where do you go to find the location of the serial number on your tractor? Well, SMA, which is a company that makes aftermarket parts for tractors and equipment, has a spot on their website, and I'll put a link in the description below, where they have the location of tractor serial numbers. Now, it doesn't have everything. I don't think they're keeping it updated, but uh, the older tractors, it's got a lot of them. And let's just say, for example, we're looking for an Alice Chalmers, and let's just pick a number that I happen to have some video of, a 6060 right there. And this is going to tell us right over here exactly where the serial number is on those. It's on the right-hand side of the engine adapter housing flange. What does that even mean? Well, I'll show you here on this tractor where that is. And they would stamp those numbers uh, into the, I think that's the transmission housing. And uh, that's where a lot of the old Alice's were. But uh, rather than spend a lot of time climbing all over the tractor looking for the number, go to SMA's website and find this uh, locator. And it'll tell you where a lot of the older tractor serial numbers are. That's point number two. Point number three, serial number breaks are important. Let's say you're looking up parts for a John Deere 850 tractor and Deere, Case, New Holland, Agco, Mahindra, I think they've all got uh, parts lookups online, but I'm going to put in 850 and I ran across this example here a while back. Um, Deere made a lot of products that were 
uh, model number 850, but if you look at tractors, and that was a fairly common tractor, here, here are two. And one of them is 850s below serial number 16,000, and the other one is 850s above 16,000. And same with 950s and 1050s, which sa share some of the same parts. It drives parts people crazy at dealerships when you don't know your serial number and you just say, well, I think it's, it's probably one of the newer ones. And then they order parts and they don't fit. And that's on you. And so the important thing to know, point number three, is that serial number breaks are important. I don't know how the early 850s are different than the later 850s, but there are differences. And so if you're trying to order parts, serial number breaks and finding the correct serial number on your tractor is very important to get the right part. Well, now let's go to point number four about serial numbers, and this one is unique to John Deere. If you have an older John Deere tractor with a 13-digit serial number like this one, and by the way, this was a terrible place to put serial numbers. A lot of times the front end loader brackets cover the serial number up, but the 13-digit numbers don't mean anything. Starting in 2008, Deere went to a 17-digit serial number like on this tractor, and all of those numbers mean something. And let's go to the John Deere decoder and we'll show you what it means. There's three digits here that mean something and then four digits here and then single digits. And then this end part here is the actual serial number of the individual tractor. So the first three digits tell where the tractor was built. And like a lot of the tractors are built at John Deere's Waterloo plant uh, they've got a Davenport plant, Otumwa. They've got different places where tractors and equipment are built. Uh, they've got a plant in India right here. If it's a PY, it would be that. And then the smaller tractors are built, uh, or at least assembled, at their Augusta, Georgia uh, plant. So, so the first digits tell where the tractor was built. The second digits tell the uh, model number. Third digit is a configuration code. It'll kind of tell you how the tractor is equipped. I don't know what this means, number four, but number five is a calendar year of manufacturing, the, the fifth uh, group here. And that's actually the, what, three, four, seven, eight, nine, the tenth serial number on a John Deere tells you what year it was made. And if you go down here, here is the year of manufacture code guide. So an eight would be a 2008. That's the first year they did it, a nine, 2009, and, and so on. And they've, they've got these planned out clear up to 2047 when that will be an H. So the fourth point is Deere's new serial numbers mean something. Now, if you want to see how a company can take it to a whole nother level, some of the older Ford tractors, I mean, they're, they're, they had a serial number and a product code and if you had those numbers, you could tell everything there is to know about that tractor. And you could not only tell whether it was like an ag or an industrial tractor, but you could tell what transmission was in it, uh, whether it was a, a independent PTO or how the PTO was configured. You could also tell the uh, month it was made, the day it was made, and what shift it was made. I, it's insane. I don't know how they kept track of that. It didn't last for very long, probably because of that. But on some of the old Ford tractors, you can tell literally the life history of the tractor by the numbers on the serial number plate. That's point number five. Now, point number six, there's a company that kind of goes the other direction. Kubota is awful bad, especially on the newer stuff, about not listing their serial number breaks so you know what year your tractor is. So on this Kubota L2800, which is not on SMA's webpage, uh, we find the serial number, and then we go to tractordata.com specs L2800, and we would normally see on most other brands down at the bottom a serial number break. It tells us what year it would be based on the serial number, but on Kubota, those are generally not available. Now you can go here to their website and uh, contact them and they'll tell you what year your tractor is or it's possible you can contact your local dealer and they can tell you what, what year it is, but uh, you won't find that generally available. Now, a funny quirk, they've got an engine serial number on the engine made by their, their engine division and it's kind of hard to find, but once you find it, and here's the one on my neighbor's tractor, uh, it tells you a lot about the engine. So if you go here to Kubota's engine serial number identifier, and I'll put a link to this 
yeah, down in the description below. You can tell everything about this engine. On my neighbor's tractor, these first digits are D1803, which I think means it's a diesel 1.8 liter three cylinder. And then there's a dash. And then the first number is the series number. And the second digit is the production year. And the production year on my neighbor's tractor serial number is an F. So we know it is a 2015. And he bought it in early 2017, so that sounds right. And then the rest of the numbers, the uh, month is uh, this digit right here. And the month is down here, and on my neighbor's tractor, it is a W. And so we know it was built in November. So we know the serial number on his tractor tells us at least the engine was built in late 2015. So point number six is on a Kubota, you can't really tell the year on the tractor by the serial number of the tractor without calling Kubota or contacting them, but you can tell what year the engine was made by the engine serial number. Point number seven, if you're looking at a used tractor, don't stress about the year. On cars, it seems like the older the car, the less value it is. On a tractor, it's all more about condition and hours of usage. So a tractor that is a little older, that's been taken good care of, that has fewer hours on it, is worth more than a newer tractor that's been beat to a pulp. So don't stress about the year, point number seven, and the serial number that indicates what year it is. Worry more about the condition of the tractor. Point number eight, if you're looking at a used tractor, and I don't care if you buy it from an individual or from a dealer, but I would write that serial number down and have the sheriff check it and make sure it's not stolen. Tractors don't have titles. They do get stolen from time to time, and uh, that can be a problem if you buy a stolen tractor. So run that serial number before you buy it. The ninth point I want to make today, on some machines, there are two serial numbers. Some tractors, many industrial machines, have a serial number on a tag and that same serial number stamped into the frame somewhere. Makes them harder to steal. I wish all machines had that. And number 10, I think this is a great suggestion, and this came from one of my viewers. In their cell phone, they'll enter their tractor name, and then they'll put the serial number as part of the contact in there. In other words, if you put a contact in your phone that's TC40D, and then as their address, you put the serial number, and maybe put a picture of it in there, you'll always have that with you if you go to get parts for your tractor. And I think that's a great idea. And they said they did that with everything they had, like a chainsaw, they'd put the model number in their phone, their, their zero turn lawnmower, everything they own, they did that. And I think that's a tremendous idea. It just makes your life a lot easier when you're carrying that information with you anywhere you go. In the end, there's a lot of numbers on tractors. The serial numbers sometimes are hard to find. Sometimes they mean something, sometimes they don't. You want to check it if you're buying a tractor. And once you have a tractor, put that serial number in your phone and you've always got it with you. Thanks for watching.